all right good evening good evening uh as you are as you all know why i am here uh again something has happened the neat exam has been postponed and uh, uh i can imagine what you are going through most of you are uh, sounding very disappointed uh and uh, all of us are getting messages that why has it happened and most of you sound irritated and frustrated uh so uh, i thought that let's have some chit chat about it and uh, see if if i can you know tell my perspective i can share my perspective with you guys uh now guys uh, i can understand that uh, these repetitive postponements uh, are very frustrating uh, had i been a student i would have felt really bad uh, like you guys are feeling uh but guys please remember that uh, uh, there is more to life than just entrance examinations i am not just being philosophical here i am not just trying to you know tell you the psychiatrist stuff here uh, but but uh, even before the examination in fact even uh, just just before this this news came uh, i was thinking to myself when we were discussing in the preparatory faculties group that this examination is going to happen on the sunday uh, what would it result in just imagine more than 1.5 lakhs of young medical students uh, going to examination halls and we know in india we do not have good infrastructure uh, everybody would be sitting close to each other the examination is of 3 and 1/2 hours uh, you would not have been able to put that mask on for the entire time uh, you would be so stressed out during the examination you would be so focused on the examination that mask would be the last thing that would come in the mind so there was no way out that you would be able to you know uh, carry out uh, with the precautions necessary precautions and in that scenario what would have happened had the examination taken place in the last 7 days i must have received at least 30 messages from students who have told me that they are either covid positive or they have been having significant symptoms and uh, that is only the number that i got to know the same was happening with other faculties they were telling me dr gobin was saying dr vivek jain was saying that everybody is getting messages that uh, students are you know symptomatic imagine all those students coming together and add to that the number of, uh, a huge number of asymptomatic patients who were carrying the virus so this could have been a super spreader event and uh, as a doctor i am actually glad that the exam is postponed as a teacher i can understand the frustration i know that it would hurt i know that it would be very irritating but as a doctor and as a citizen of this country i am telling you i could not be more relieved just imagine guys and girls you going to that center you picking up the covid you going back to your homes and giving it to your parents no examination in this world is worth risking lives of your parents no examination no rank no branch in this world is worth risking lives of your parents and family members all these things see, see we we medical students we doctors become so competitive we become so myopic that we cannot think about anything else but getting success, success and clearing entrance examination but but life is not about entrance examination uh, would you like it if you get to know that you know your mother your father is having is battling with covid just because uh, you got it back and and please remember that uh, you guys are young you must be in your mid 20s but even you are not invincible the current situation of covid is so bad that if if somebody were to catch covid it's almost impossible to get a hospital bed even for people like us we are struggling in getting our you know relatives admitted so so it's it's really bad out there and uh, 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 not only that beds are not available oxygen is not available of course you know that there is no medicine available so things are things are pretty bad so just thinking about this development uh, from the perspective of entrance examination might not be right please think about your family members too please think about yourself too uh, young people are dying 20s 30s you know i was just talking to one of my seniors who is the in charge of covid ward in one of the hospitals government hospitals and uh, uh, you know he's a psychiatrist a very nice guy a very a strong willed person and he was almost crying he was telling me that people are coming falling on my feet uh, asking me that please give me a bed from where do i get the beds and uh, he was telling me that young people in 20s 30s coming to the wards uh, coming to the uh, hospitals no comorbidity no history three day fever three day breathlessness and they, they uh, expired so things are very bad out there uh this examination is uh, important i understand that uh postponement of examination is bad i also understand that but just to repeat myself nothing is more important than life itself and it's not only your life it's the life of your family members or parents too so please keep that thing in mind and uh, uh just just you know swallow this disappointment it's okay this is the first part of it 
The second part of it is that a lot of people are saying that, sir, we medicos have to bear the brunt. Uh, people are attending election rallies. People are going to religious festivals. Uh, that's true. But you are not people. You are the cream of this country. You are the sharpest brains of this country. You are the best minds of this country. We don't care. I mean, we care about everybody else, but we care much more about you, right? So, so what others are doing, please don't compare yourself with that. Somebody has to be responsible in this country. And if even doctors stop behaving responsibly, medical students also stop behaving responsibly, then only God can save us. So please don't get frustrated looking at what is happening in the rest of the country. Uh, just imagine a super spreader event in the families of doctors and involving young medicals, it would have been disastrous. So honestly, I'm, I'm very relieved that this exam has been postponed. I was very scared that what would be the result of this, this uh, need PG examination. Uh, coming back to what about the preparation now? Now, now let's talk, let, let me speak like a teacher now. Uh, what about the preparation? Uh, guys, uh, uh, see, if, if I can, you know, use a word for the last one year, that word would be uncertainty. Every damn thing is uncertain. Right. I know the examinations are uncertain. Now, all of you would be asking the same question. When can we expect the next exam? When, when can we expect, expect that need PG would be held? Nobody knows the answer. But by looking at the trends, I don't think that this wave is going anywhere in the next 30 days. So my guess is, and I might be wrong here, that in next 30 days, at least the examination would not be held. And uh, of course, those of you who were studying hard and those of you who were in rhythm, uh, you would suffer a loss of rhythm, uh, you would suffer a loss of momentum, but that's fine. As I said, there are things more important than the examination in the life. My advice is that take rest for the next two to three days. Take rest. Uh, don't continue studying. Uh, after two, three days, we will start pestering you that, you know, you again have to you know come back to the study mode. But for now, for the next 48 to 72 hours, just relax. Uh, I know this year has been tough, uh, but guys, uh, if you have lived through this year and if you end up, you know, clearing that examination, I can tell you one thing that nothing else in the life in your future would bug you that much. You would always be able to tell yourself that I, I lived in 2021 where the examination got postponed twice, where we were told about need next, where there was COVID, where there was no certainties and we still managed we still got selected and maybe this is this is some kind of you know preparation that uh, uh, you are having at this point of time for your careers so if, if you can go through if you can live through this period you would be able to do anything in your uh, remaining professional careers uh, also when you feel sad uh, please think uh, about your seniors who are pg1 in different hospitals in the country they are overworked like anything they have been doing duties back to back and they were looking so much forward to this exam. They were waiting for their juniors. And I had happened to have conversation with few of them. In fact, I have a, I had a conversation with one of the uh, coordinators, one of the senior consultants. And he immediately called me when he heard the news and he was like, Ki, Praveen, exam ke, uh, postman ho gaya kya? I said, yes, sir, ho gaya. And he was like, nai doc, nai students nahi aenge, to duties kon karenge? So just, just think about your seniors too. Uh, they are overworked, they were waiting for you, but the way things are, they'll have to work some more, we'll have to study some more, and uh, life is not always fair, and you are getting first and taste of it. So it's okay, it's okay, Be, stay calm, stay cool, take two to three day break, and uh, then then we'll make the uh, plan for the future, right? Uh, I just wanted to have this little chit chat with you uh, about this topic, and uh, I, I hope you understand my position and I hope you understand why this decision was taken. Uh, let, let me see uh, if, if uh, there are certain questions. Uh, Derm Doc is saying depressed, don't know how to deal. Uh, yeah, I, I can understand that uh, it, it is depressing, it is anxiety provoking. But, you know, uh, if, if I can bring some, some psychiatry into it, uh, please, please uh, allow me that. Uh, there's an important therapy called as ACT, Acceptance and Commitment Therapy. And one of the basic principles of that therapy is that uh, just accept those things which are beyond your control. You can do nothing about neat examination. You can nothing. You can do nothing about when the exam would be announced. Uh, cursing the government, cursing your luck, 
cursing everybody around will only make you will make you feel even more bitter you can't do anything about it just tell yourself that this is what is happening this is what is happening with everybody and this is what is happening with the country this is what is happening with the world and i am also part of it when when you see yourself as a part of a bigger system the frustration becomes lesser so fmg ka kya hoga people are asking uh, nobody knows but i believe uh, i mean things should go uh, on the same track but nobody knows uh, i i can understand it's even worse for fmg guys and girls uh, at least need people know that it has been postponed now fmg people don't even know whether to study or not we don't know so let's let's wait for the government to make more announcements uh i don't know what will happen about inict see please i i'm not a part of government i'm not a part of nb i don't know uh so just just wait and see how it goes uh all right uh somebody is saying my face is explaining the situation uh, yes uh, uh, all of us are stressed out our family members are having covid and uh, we don't know what what is going on so uh, as as somebody was t- saying in the beginning we are we all are in this together so think beyond into examination people are losing their lives all right guys uh, have a good night sleep relax and uh, uh, take a 2 to 3 days break good night all the best